Gary Crowley here with step three of heal pain relief. And uh, what we're going to do, very important thing, now we're going to release the bottom of your foot. Because all of these muscles in the bottom of your foot and your big, thick, strong plantar fascia that takes all the way to your body every time you, you step or, or run, um, if that's tight, that, those tendons and that, that fascia connect into this, this heel bone. And if all this is tight and they're yanking on those attachments, a lot of times you feel it in your heel. So, um, so we're going to release that foot. We're going to do the, the press pull release and the uh, press hold move techniques, and preferably hand on hand. Now, some people are talented enough to do this sitting in a chair, and you can, you can do it. I personally would much rather lie on my back and I can get both my hands in there and get some hand-on-hand -hand pressure um, and basically uh, feet are completely neglected all the time so there's probably a lot of tender spots so you can find a tender spot hand-on-hand -hand technique and press hold move or press pull release press pull release press pull release press pull release uh, little combination. I'm helping my my foot move a little bit with the press hold move. Um, but it will let go, but you will find a lot of tender spots here. A lot of tender spots. And you can also feel free to, uh, if your hands get too tired or your hands aren't strong enough, um, you can take a, uh, a tennis ball. Uh, I lost my tennis ball. A tennis ball or a golf. This is a lacrosse ball cross ball, you put it on the floor and rub your foot on it. Some people like a golf ball, uh, which is fine. I do not like a frozen golf ball that some people recommend because uh, to me it's making the muscle that you want to release cold, which is kind of working against yourself. But if you put this on the floor, flex your toes up and down, find a tender spot, flex your toes up and down. Now run, rubbing across it like a lot of people do is basically massaging it not going to do too much. Um, might do a little bit, but basically you want to pick a tender spot, press on it with your body weight. Ideally this would be on the floor. Um, so you get some body weight in there and then you flex your toes up and down. You can even reach down and pull your toes back and forth. Um, so that would work tennis ball, golf ball, lacrosse ball, uh, baseball. Baseball is a little too blunt for me. doesn't quite get the focus of pressure. Um, that, that I'm looking for. So uh, probably the tennis ball, lacrosse ball, golf ball. Uh, but personally, if your hands are strong enough, and especially if you're doing the uh, if you're doing the hand-on-hand -hand technique, you can really get a lot more pressure than just your one hand. That's just, and I got my leg kind of just naturally pressing back into those fingertips. You can get a lot of pressure. So from here all the way down to here, any of those tender spots, press, hold, release. I mean, press, hold, move, press, hold, move, press, pull, release, press, pull, release, press, pull, release. And, uh, and you may notice now the other last thing, obviously, you can work on your heel. There's no problem with working on your heel, but 95% 90, of the time, that's, that's not going to do it. Um, so while you're down here, you can rub around here a little bit, but basically from the front of your heel, see, that's pretty tender on me, all the way back. Even way up here, you'd be amazed. Sometimes releasing these things up here that flex and extend your toes, sometimes they're the magic bullet that all of a sudden your, your heel pain will go away. So that is step three of heel pain relief. Now it's time to assess uh, step one, step two, step three, see what gave you the most relief. Also assess what was really tender and stubborn and maybe could use a little more work. But um, the odds are good that you can uh, fix your own heel pain, and I look forward to hearing how it goes. Thank you.